the fellow alchemists, welcome back. I know it's been some time since I recorded a video. I had to go out of town, but now we are back. And I really, really wanted to go over a couple of new features that Phoenix Live View has that may be useful for you. Uh, kind of depends on what you're doing. One is called debounce, and the other one is called throttle. Now, that may not make uh, a lot of sense, but uh, I will go through each option and talk a little bit about it and actually show you something. So I tried to think of something that would relate to our current app and I couldn't. So I just decided just to whip up a very, very simple uh, live view. So I just called it limit. Uh, all I'm doing is limiting, just showing a very quick template. Um, and I'm just inputting the current time so you can see things are changing. Um, and I'm sending, sorry, let me go ahead and remove this. I'm just going to be sending an event. So without anything, every time you click, you can see the time is being updated. Now that's nice, but say you're doing, you know, searching or something like that. You don't want them to be keep hitting your database all the time, right? You want to be able to limit. So you want to be able to throw in a rate limit in there. Uh, pending what you want to do, uh, it could be different things, right? So let's say that we actually want to maybe put a delay in there. Uh, who knows, for whatever reason. So I wanted to show is that we can use something called debounce. And let's say two seconds. Now what debounce does is it actually delays the event. So if I click on click, you'll see nothing happens like before. But after two seconds, it comes in. So ready, click, one two there we go we have our event coming in so the bounce is just going to delay the event it won't actually uh, say stop it or, or whatever and then there's something called throttle now this is much different okay so what what this will do is that this will only let you have this one event uh, within a period of time so if I do click you'll see it goes right away if i click again uh, it's not going to be a problem because it's i put in two seconds so this is done by milliseconds now what this does is that this allows one event per that time limit so what i can say is click multiple times nothing happens until two seconds happens so i'm just going to keep clicking you'll see 47 49 51 etc it's fine. So this is probably going to be used a lot more often because you just want to, you know, stop somebody from sending a lot of events over the line. Um, but you don't want to, you know, delay anything. So as soon as I click, it'll go right away. But it'll stop multiple events from happening during that two second time period. So that's how you can actually limit the events coming to your live view application so that way you don't overload your application or you know cause any problems um, so again this is alan from plangora uh, and i'll try to create some more videos for you guys so please subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you guys next time thanks bye